The Chinese embassy in Lesotho celebrated 90 years since the founding of the Chinese People's Liberation Army. At this celebration, the ambassador mentioned some of the achievements since the founding of the People's Liberation Army. The 90-year-old history of PLA has consistently proven that the PLA is an army that comes from the people, belongs to the people, and serves wholeheartedly to the people. The PLA is an armed force, but it's a force for peace. And China adopts a military strategic principle of active national defense. His Excellency Xi Jinping, the President of China and the Chairman of the Central Military Commission of the Communist Party of China, has pointed out categorically that China opposes the wanton and unscrupulous use of force or threat of use of force to settle international disputes. This celebration also included bidding farewell to the Lesotho Defense Force officers who will be attending training in China next month. The Lesotho Defense Force Commander Lieutenant General Huan Tle Mutsumutsu explained that Chinese army training is one of the best. The Chinese People's Liberation Army is the only defense force that offers more training slots per year to LDF than any other defense force in the world. You will, therefore, entirely agree with me that the Chinese People's Liberation Army had contributed immensely to the professionalism of the Lesotho Defense Force we see today. And the Lesotho Defense Force has proven itself on many instances and occasions in our region and continent that it has it has one of the highest trained soldiers and officers who are exceptionally disciplined and dedicated to their noble cause of defending the territorial and sovereignty of the Kingdom of Lesotho. The Minister of Defense, Honorable Sinchile Bona, appreciated the efforts of the People's Republic of China for continuing to provide training for Lesotho Army, pointing out that there are warm relations between China and Lesotho, especially in the issues of defense. Since 2003, the CPLA and the Lesotho Defense Force, LDF, has had cordial bilateral cooperation on military training where in a total of 290 officers and soldiers had successfully completed the training. Since then, to date, the training had been on the following areas. Infantry-based <coughs> infantry training, engine, engineering, communication, communications, signals, air force, logistics and audience as well as military fiscal education training. In the same way, the Minister of Foreign Affairs wished those who will be leaving for training all the best, also reminding them to always remember that they are there to represent Lesotho as a nation. We bid farewell to those officers, Bon Voyage. Today, we also wish them a pleasant stay in China and charge them to fly the motherland flag high during their surgeon in China. Your Excellencies, I wish to conclude my remarks by pointing out that it is the resolve of His Majesty's current government to work tirelessly to enhance relations and cooperation between Lesotho and China. In this regard, Lesotho shall continue to cooperate with the People's Republic of China, both on bilateral and multilateral levels for the mutual benefit of our peoples. Chinese People's Liberation Army was founded on the 1st August 1927. Mpanyana Muhlomi, reporting for LTV News, Maseru.